there and welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be telling you about some recent makeup favorites that I have found from Aliexpress I've tested all of these out here on my channel I've been wearing them um, a bit more so I just wanted to come back to let you know it's not really like an update this is just more about the products that I really really love just compiled into one video so that if you find me annoying and you don't want to watch my other videos you could just watch this video and I'll try not to be as annoying in this video Um, I also just want to apologize for my top and I, I shouldn't really apologize for it honestly but I just realized that I think recently I probably worn this top in a few videos and I just feel like I don't know everyone on YouTube they're always wearing these like fabulous like outfits like every single time a different outfit and I just feel like oh here's me little old skanky back here in her same old top I just hope you don't mind guys like uh, please don't judge me but I just love this top it's super comfy it was a kid's top so this is for like girls age like 12 and it's too short on the sleeves can you see that oh my gosh like this is the life that I lead. So if you want to find out all that's good at Aliexpress, look no further. I have you covered. I mean, I'm not going to tell you all that's good, just a, a small proportion really, but still, let's just, let's jump into it. Okay, so the first product is one that I have very recently tried. And I'm kind of mentioning this product, A, because I do genuinely really really love it i just had a little bit more of an update for you following on from the first impression that i did so the first product is by novo and this is called the soft eyeshadow lasting okay yes lasting makeup now the reason why i kind of smirk at the word lasting is that this eyeshadow palette isn't actually that long lasting, ironically. So this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. And if you didn't see my first impression, um, this palette is made up of cream kind of formula eyeshadows. So I really, really love this palette because it's so easy to use. You can just use your finger, like even with these kind of, I say matte shades, but they're not technically matte shades, but you can kind of use your finger to kind of blend them out and they just look so beautiful. I think that the shimmers are kind of sheer but they have a beautiful kind of you know metallic glow to them and also the pressed glitter like I've not actually used this one yet but I'm sure she is a really nice pressed glitter um but anyway so this palette is beautiful I love the colors in it I love how easy it is to apply it's super low maintenance but what I do not love is that it doesn't last that long um, so basically I wore this palette the day after filming it so I wore it to work on a Monday and um, it was looking fabulous like in the morning I was like yes bitch yes watch out everyone and Winita has fantastic eyes today like she just does just cheese that bitch today with the fantastic eyes so I'm just like feeling myself like yes bitch yes you know sometimes like you have a moment or a day or an hour just however long where you're just like really feeling good about yourself and you're just like yes 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 well that was me on that morning but then I happened to be just in the bathroom I think I'd had a wee like I don't know you don't don't need to know that but I was in the bathroom I went to check my face in the mirror and I just kind of noticed that uh, the eyeshadow was kind of creasing on my lid and I know that it was the shimmer and it was probably this shimmer here um, it just kind of creased slightly just you know on my actual crease and um, like it's a cream eyeshadow so like fair enough I understand it's it's gonna want to crease you know I get it yeah it creased and it didn't crease so badly like it probably would not even be noticeable to the majority of people unless you were like super close to me and like my eyes were like this I like only then would you notice it was like super super subtle and I was able to just kind of you know kind of tap my eyelid gently and I managed to like tap away the crease so that was great it's not like a massive issue I just want to make sure that you're armed with all of the information 
you know, before you buy this. So I just felt it was pertinent for me to just tell you that. So it, it does kind of crease, but you can definitely like just deal with it easily. However, I would still recommend this palette because it costs like two pounds. And I think for two pounds, it's great. It would be great for if you just gonna have your makeup on for a few hours, or even if you're gonna have your makeup on for all day, you know, it, you could just tap it out, just tap out that crease. So, you know, it's not the end of the world really, but as I said, I just want you to have all of the info. I really, really love this palette. They do have two other palettes of the same formula with slightly different shades in them. So if this kind of colour family is not the kind of family you want to know, then they do have two other ones. I would definitely recommend it. In my opinion, I think it's definitely a worthwhile palette to have. And, you know, I, I will be wearing this again and again and again. It's also super, like, small, compact. You know, you could even just, like, put this in your pocket, I feel, just for when it creases, you could just add more. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, I really, really like this one. But it creases, if I did not mention it. I've just remembered I'm not finished off my eyebrows. But, you know, I'm just going to leave it because my standards, they are low today, apparently, wearing the same top for, like, the fifth time in a video but it, it's fine it's fine guys i hope you're not judging me okay so next i have two more eyeshadow palettes and the first one is the fabulous fruit pie filling palette so this is by our favorites well i don't know if they're your favorites but they're my favorites it's, oh this is just so good so this is what the palette looks like holy shit balls i mean really guys how beautiful is this palette and the formula ha 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 I, it's like that's just like my natural reaction to this palette ha 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 but like really guys the formula of this palette is outstandingly good this is the best formula that i've ever tried from you can be the belonging palette used to be like my favorite but i just feel like they've stepped it up a notch with this palette i found that the shadows were just so easy to work with this would be an ideal gift for someone that loves makeup someone that is getting into makeup someone that doesn't love makeup but if you give them this palette they will suddenly love makeup do you know what i mean i think the shades in here are just beautiful you've got a whole mix you've got very colorful bright shades and then you've got more somber like you know vampy grungy shades you've got a mix of match you've got shimmers mm. it's you've just got everything a girl and a guy and everyone like everyone would want this i just i love it so much i've worn it so many times since i filmed my first impression of it and every time i've been just as impressed as the first so i've not used like every shade in the palette yet but the majority do you know what i mean the majority anyway guys so this one is the fruit pie filling by you can be and i really recommend okay so the next palette we have is also by you can be i've been blessed by the gods of you can be recently uh, so this is the spotlight palette oh shit shit no oh guys if you watch my first impression of this palette, you will know that the navy matte shade, it kind of broke up and it went all up my chair and it stained my carpet. Like I will forever have these navy patches up on my beautiful grey carpet and beautiful crushed velvet executive chair. And now I've just dropped more. So just like, ex oh shit guys, I'm so pissed off. I'm so pissed off. I'm actually genuinely pissed off. I'm not blaming the palette, but guys, look at, look. See, this is why I can't have anything nice. Like, I just, I can't have anything nice. But, you know, let me tell you the honest truth about this fecking chair. It cost me a lot of money. And it's the most uncomfiest chair I've ever sat on in my life. Let's bring the stool back, I say. Bring back the fecking stool that cost me £5. I don't know how to react to this. Let me, sorry, guys. Just, like, talk amongst yourselves for a minute. This is, this is a disaster. But I'm going to just have to, like, deal with it. Oh, guys. I'm so sad right now. Oh, I've just realised my chair's going to be wet because I'm wiping it with wet wipes. So, like, where am I going to sit for the rest of the video? Oh, great. This, this, this is a great situation. I'm just loving my life right now, guys. Just having the best time. Oh, do you know what, guys? I've done the best job I can do. 
I don't care anymore. Fuck it. It's only a fucking chair. Nobody's died. It's fine. We can get over this. But I'm not opening that palette again. That, like, vertically. I'm going to do it horizontally. Like, seriously. Okay, so guys, I'm back. I've had to get a cushion just to... Shit. Fuck. I've had to get a cushion so that I am not sitting on a wet patch. Do you know what? It's fine, guys. These things are sent to try us. Do you know what I mean? So it's only fucking chair. I do not care. But I am not going to be opening the spotlight palette on an angle. So I'm just going to cut to a little video of it. So I really, really love this palette. I don't love the navy blue shade anymore. And do you know what? I loved it on the eye, but... I just, I don't know if I can forgive it for ruining my chair. But um, no, honestly, guys, this palette is, is really, really good. I'm looking at it here. It's just like, you can't see. But I've got it like horizontal on my desk here because um, I don't dare open it for fear of it staining everything. Um, but no, it's a beautiful palette. Very similar to the fruit pie filling, but I'd say the formula just isn't quite as good. So if you were going to ask me which one should you buy because... They are very, very kind of similar kind of palettes. I would definitely recommend go for the fruit pie filling. I just think the formula is exceptional. But the spotlight formula is also like really, really good. It's really good value for money. Um, just beware of the navy blue shade. That, that's all I'm going to say, guys. Okay, so next we have a highlighter. And this one is by A Beauty Glazed. So this is just called their highlighting powder. They didn't give it a name, unfortunately. And I don't know what shade I have this in. Like, I still don't know. I I, I, right, okay, if you've not watched, if you've not watched any of my videos before, or you have no idea what I'm talking about, so I bought this in the shade Cashmere, and it arrived, and it definitely did say, like, it says Cashmere on the back, but the actual shade of it looked nothing like the picture of the Cashmere shade, which looked to be a little bit more of, like, a bronzy kind of shade, whereas this, it looks golden to me, and then when I looked at pictures of the other shades definitely looked a lot more similar to the shade golden so I don't know if they just stuck the wrong sticker on this one I'm not sure but to try and solve the mystery I have gone back I've ordered another cashmere just so that I can kind of see I mean all of that aside I think that this is a beautiful highlighter it probably is a tiny bit too golden for my fair skin but I think if I use a light hand I can kind of get away with it definitely in the summer if I'm on holiday if I'm a little bit bronzed I definitely can get away with this so I am going to be using it I have got it on today because I wanted you to be able to see it so this is what it looks like it's got the most beautiful kind of you know wet look sheen to it it gives you that kind of glass skin look it looks very natural although we all know it's not, but I feel like people that aren't really into makeup would think, oh my gosh, Sam, when you were glowing today, are you pregnant? And I'd be like, no. This is absolutely sensational. I can't wait to receive cashmere. I have also ordered another one of the shades because when it's this good, how can you not? Do you know what I mean? Uh, this costs, again, a couple of pounds, just amazing quality. I would definitely say that this, hands down, competes with high-end brands so just actually i've been meaning to do this i've not done it yet but i was actually thinking this shade golden looks so similar to the shade blissful by ofra so this is blissful and this is golden and do you know what i'm going to just do a little like side by side swatch just so that we can kind of see uh, so i'm going to swatch the beauty glazed one first which is this and I'm going to shade the Blissful one second. Okay, so if anything, I would actually say that the Beauty Glazed one is less powdery than the Ofra one. Um, Ofra are my favourite kind of brand of highlighters, but, you know, anyway. So which one is this? Okay, so this is, we're going to go with Ofra first. So this is Ofra Bliss, Bl Bl oh, Blissful. Look at all that navy shadow on my hands. I mean, really, guys. Okay, so that, that was Blissful. This is Beauty Glazed. Did I get them right? Because I feel like the Beauty Glazed one is so much nicer than Blissful. So this is Beauty Glazed on top and it looks so much nicer. Like, I don't want to doubt Beauty Glazed, but I feel like I may have mixed those swatches up. Let me just do it again. I'm just going to swatch Blissful again. Blissful is actually quite powdery and chunky, actually. I don't use it a lot because it's a bit too dark for my skin. But let me just swatch. Yeah! 
oh my gosh, beauty glazed one. Like if I said to you, okay, which which highlighter do you like the best? I think that the majority of people would probably go for the beauty glazed one, just because it's got that savage amount of glow to it, you know? It's just like, ba ba bam I mean, it's just so gorgeous. So guys, I mean, I don't think that the shades are exact matches or anything, but just based on that side by side, I would actually say that I much prefer the Beauty Glaze formula. So if you're a fan of highlighters, if you're not a fan of highlighters, I would definitely say buy one of these and you will suddenly become a fan of highlighters. You know what I mean? So, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Does this look like I've got a Beauty Glazed head with hair? Hello, buy me. I'm the best highlighter in the world. Maybe not the world, but I'm really good. I'm really fucking good. Oh my gosh, right, this next product, I don't even know how it got in, in the box because I was not even planning on talking about it today, but I've mentioned this so many times, right? So I feel like I'm just gonna mention it because it's a fecking great product. So this is by the Naked Here's to Beauty brand and it's a mineralized blush. I feel like this is deja vu just because I have raved about this so many times, but if you're a fan of like, peachy radiant glowy blushes look no further my friend i have the man for you this is so so pretty i actually think i've got it on today which is i think that's how it ended up in the box oh it's so good it's so fucking good i just love it guys this is what she looks like she is a beautiful beautiful peach shade she's glowy you could even use her as a, a highlighter if you so desired she's so good she's so good why am i speaking american all of a sudden who knows i've both the boys been ill so i've been like not getting much sleep they have a, like a nighttime cough so they don't cough during the day just at night time which i mean if that's not the most annoying type of cough i've ever heard of i just don't know what is so anyway they're coughing all night fine during the day they're just jumping over the furniture fighting breaking things they're just having a wild time during the day but night time they're coughing and they come into mummy's bed and then mummy can't sleep and not that felt like i'm obviously you know my priority is them like i don't care if i can't sleep i just want them to be okay but i've not slept I, I've not slept in the past couple of days and I'm feeling it. I think that's why I'm just like spontaneously speaking in an American accent. At least I hope that's why. I, I don't know. Okay, so the next product is by a brand called S Makeup who I've been having a little bit of a struggle actually trying to track down this product. Um, anyway, I'll just tell you about the product first and then I'll tell you about my woes of trying to hunt it down. But um, this is a cream eyeshadow. It's a double-ended situation. So you have like a matte kind of base side and then you have a glittery side. This, I believe, has been inspired by the Huda, 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 Huda Beauty versions. Uh, so I did try this recently. I was a little bit disappointed that the base side creased a bit but I absolutely loved the glitter side and I have used the glittery side since. A lot of people did give me some really really useful feedback actually in the comments of that video and they said that when Huda Beauty used her product and um, with this side the matte side that I struggled with she literally just put one two three dots and then just blended that out so I do suspect that Potentially, I put way too much on and that was the cause of the creasing. So I am going to be trying, well, I'm actually going to be trying out the pink one because I got a pink one. So I'm going to be doing a video just like trying that out. I'll probably incorporate it in with like a testing AliExpress makeup video. So I'm going to test that that theory and see if it if it doesn't crease that way. And I'm feeling confident that it won't. But, oh my gosh, guys, I still love the product. Like, I stop creasing and all um i loved it i love the look it's very natural it's very glowy it's very like just understated but at the same time glamorous you could wear it to work you could wear it to tesco you could wear it to paris evening you could wear it on a glitz and glamorous night out i don't, I don't think i've ever been on any night out that could be described as glitz and glamour like i don't really know what that is and actually i don't think i'd want to go to it because it sounds like it would be a very formal affair like people would be like in evening gowns and they'd be drinking like champagnes from a flute 
that's not the kind of lifestyle I lead. I'm a little bit more ratchet than that. Um, I don't fit in in those places where it's a bit pretentious. I'm not saying that if you have a champagne flute and an evening gown that you're pretentious. Like, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that, like, I'm digging myself a hole now, aren't I? But I'm just, I'm going to just let me dig myself out of it. So what I'm saying is that I prefer, like, okay, so when I was at uni, we used to go to these two clubs. One was called Rock World, one was called Satan's Hollow. Both of them had extremely sticky floors. You just like stick to the floors. They played really loud, aggressive rock slash heavy metal music. There were loads of like goths there. I was one of them. There were loads of like heavy metalers there. There were people making out in the corner of the room. There were people off their faces on, I just don't know what. Um, but you know, just to give you an idea, that's the kind of place that I feel at one with. Well, I used to. I don't know if I would anymore. I'm These days, I'm more of a just like mum at home with the kids just watching 90 Day Fiance. But do you know what I mean? It's fine. I love it. I wouldn't change it for the world. But anyway, guys, so this product is really, really good. I definitely recommend. But the issue that I had, so when I did the first impression, and you know now I've started to link the products, I mean, really. Oh my gosh, yes, she's linking now. Just call me and when the linker, the linked link, link, she likes linking things. I don't know, anyway. So I was trying to link it and I did. Like So I went back through my order history because that's how I always like find the links for the products. Back through my order history, I clicked on the product and then linked it. I thought, yes, wham, bam, there, there she is, linking things, just taking over the world, linking things one link at a time. But anyway, so I was like, okay, great job done, awesome everyone can find it but no I got loads of comments saying Aminator like that's not the right link it's taking us to a different product and the product that I believe it was taking you to was it like it looked exactly the same but it was branded as being a hand eye hand product so I don't know what happened there even like literally I linked direct from the order that I made and it's linking to a hand eye hand product but this one it says S makeup S makeup so I don't know where hand iron comes in. I'm really, really sorry about that, guys. But I also have, like, consequently, ordered a couple of the hand iron ones because I thought they were different. But now I'm thinking, are uh, they just the same, but with different branding on the front? That's probably the case for the majority of AliExpress products, to be honest. But they've got my money now, so there's nothing I can do about it. But when they turn up, we can see. We'll do a full investigation and we will get to the bottom of it, guys. I promise you, I will not let you down. But that's that explains that mystery. Well, it doesn't really, does it? Because I'm not really like giving you a conclusion. I've just like told you about it but maybe at some point I don't know okay so guys next we have two liquid glitter eyeliners and these were both so so good so the first was at the door I feel like that was a door I've been doing lots of orders recently what with Christmas being around the corner no I don't think it was because I, like I can't see the post fan and I can't see like a delivery van so I'm just gonna assume no it's not a delivery how pissed off am I going to be if I go downstairs and there's a missed delivery postcard? I'll be pissed off, but I can't be asked. Actually, just like going to to look at the front door, so I'll, I'll just have to live with it. But anyway, guys, so yeah, the two liquid glitter eyeliners. Um, so one of them is by Kamaju, and this was so, so good. Super concentrated with glitter. It lasted really well on my eye, really easy to apply, and I just loved everything about it. I also cannot not mention how cute the little bottle is because it looks like a coca-cola bottle which i just adorable like adorable I just love things that are like smaller versions of the things apart from there's something that I, I don't think i'd love a smaller version of that thing that's just one exception to the rule but like everything else like i love small things I do i though i'm thinking as i'm saying that i think i would do you because i'd rather have big boobs and I like having a big car. And I like having a big plate of food. And I like having a big bed. Anyway, the list goes on, guys. I think we've realised that 
but I don't like small things. But anyway, so yeah, this was really, really good. They have loads of different shades. I bought a couple more. Uh, just I loved everything about it. It's super affordable, worked really well. Uh, it just looked really, really good. So I definitely recommend. And the second glitter is by the DNM brand. This one is I like that beautiful sparkly gold. Uh, you know what? Because I know you're gonna ask me which which one do I recommend most? And my personal favourite was the DNM one, just because I do feel like it was slightly more concentrated with glitter i've used this a couple of times since i filmed i've used it all over the lid and i've used it again just as a liner really really long lasting dries down like really quickly and it just looks really good it looks like sparkly little diamonds on your eyes again they have a whole range of shades and i've bought some more like i don't know like will i ever use all of these glitter liquid eyeliners i don't know but I sure will try. I just had an image of me then, like dead, like not now, but you know, in the future, like let's say when I'm 99 and I'm dead, and Andres and Alex are just like putting all of the glitter eyeliner, you know, to dress up my corpse, and they're just saying, no, 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 mummy said she has to use it all up, so we're we're helping her use it all up. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I just realised what a tragic, tragic, like idea that would be. Just a tragic visual, a tragic tail just how sad would that be oh my gosh i'm not gonna even think about that but guys okay so next we have three lipsticks and these are by you can be so these are called the golden luxury lipsticks and believe me these are so luxury they are so weighty they have an absolutely gorgeous magnet on i don't know why i say gorgeous it's not gorgeous it's just very like I admire it. I think it's an admirable magnet. And I, I just, I don't know. I don't know why weight and magnet constitute a luxury product, but I just feel like they do. Um, I don't know. Something about this is just that, like, luxury. It's luxury at affordable prices. So they very kindly sent me three of these lipsticks. I'm wearing one today. This is in the shade Tangerine. It's a beautiful like red. I don't know why I'm telling you like you know when like YouTubers do this and they're like oh it's a beautiful orange red um it's kind of lipstick can you see it and you're thinking yes people can see they're looking at the lipstick now just tell them this is it I just I'm gonna start doing that in the future but I just feel like that's a bit like lazy just go oh yeah this is it yeah i feel like you need to like explain it a bit like oh yeah this is it it's red it's orange it's green i don't know it's i mean I... there it is guys like there it is i really really love these lipsticks they not only have a, a very very high quality expensive looking and feeling uh, packaging the actual product itself which let's face it is the only thing that matters um the product is really really good it just feels high quality it's very opaque it's very pigmented very comfortable on the lips uh lasts really really well one thing that i did mention uh when i tried these for the first time was that when you apply them they definitely have a i would say quite a sheeny look to them but they do describe themselves as being a velvet matte which i'm not really getting velvet matte from this but if you kind of blot your lips with a tissue you can definitely create that velvet matte look so i'm going to do it now and you can kind of see so here, right, so this is shiny before. Okay, so there we go. I mean, it still looks a little bit shiny, but, you know, not shiny before. So, you know, if you wanted a kind of more of a matte look, you could definitely, like, do a bit of blotting. But anyway, I absolutely love those. Okay, and to finish off the video today, I have two different sets of brushes. So, I have a set of... Oh, shit. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to hold too many brushes here. So, anyway, I have... Okay, where's the other one? I should have another black one somewhere. Like, where is he? Hmm... Okay, so like I did have four. I probably got the other one in like my brush bag. I don't know where he is, but anyway, guys. Okay, so I have this set. It 
There is another one. He's absconded. Like, I don't know where he is. Uh, but these are by Doe Colour, which is spelled D O and then Colour the American way. So these are four eye brushes. I was really, really impressed with these. I have been using them regularly. My favourite one is the little one and um, it's great just for getting a kind of deeper shade into your crease and just kind of you know blending it out so I really really love this it's also great for the under eye the others are really really good just for you know blend work blend work what's that I think I made it up it sounds right so let's just go with it Yes, let's. That was the internal dialogue that just went on in my brain then. But anyway, yeah, so these are really, really good. Super affordable and, yeah, I just, perfect. I don't need any more for my brushes, really. Apart from if, what would I, what else would I need my brushes to do? Apply all my makeup by themselves. Although not really, because I enjoy applying my makeup. So, no, don't take that away from me, brushes. You cannot... I wonder if one day they're going to invent like, you know, artificial intelligence, like robots that are going to be like, I don't know, they program like, I don't know, something in our hand and that would allow us to like, be able to like apply our makeup great. Or like maybe we'd have like a robot makeup artist that could just live in our house and it would be in the corner of the room until you want to need them so you switch them on and they come and they just do all your makeup they can do hair as well um they cut your toenails i don't know would that be classed as slavery i mean i i don't want to like cross over into like an ethical you know minefield here or anything but would that be ethical if the robot had a, like a human brain but can can robots feel emotions I don't know, guys, where is Elon Musk when you need him? I just don't know. But anyway, so the second set of brushes that I got, these are by the Belay brand, and this was a set of 12. Again, absolutely love these. They, I think, are based on these Zoeva brushes. I just think that the actual, like, you know, different kind of brush heads that look very, very, very similar to some of these Zoeva sets. These were brilliant, very soft. Uh, just, again, everything that you would need for eye makeup uh, so i would definitely recommend these brushes anyway guys that brings us to the end of this video i really hope that you enjoyed it and got a little bit of inspiration i apologize if you're on a shopping ban and you did not really want any inspiration like believe me i've tried to be on a shopping ban almost as many times as i've tried to become vegan and it's, it's never worked like i've lasted maybe a day and then i've just been like no give me some cheese or with the shopping ban i'm on aliexpress just buying stuff i mean really guys but anyway i'm gonna go i hope you have a wonderful rest of the day um as always let me know in the comments down below if you found any like magical gem products from AliExpress, I would lo surely love to hear about them and I'm sure everyone else would too. I uh, will link all of these products in the description because you know she's a linker now. That's just me, linker lifestyle, hashtag linker, hashtag linking forever. I don't know if I will be. <laughs> anyway guys, I'm going to go. Thank you for watching. Bye.